Hello and welcome to another problem solving session on triangles and we are solving problems related to internal angle bisector theorem. So let's see and go through this particular problem. So this says if the bisector of an angle of a triangle bisects the opposite side, prove that the triangle is isosceles. Okay, so let's first draw a triangle. So let's say this is a triangle. Okay, let us name this triangle. Let us name this triangle. So A b c okay now what does it say if the bisector of an angle let's say we draw a bisector of triangle uh, angle a or b a c angle b a c this is the bisector let's say okay so let me draw once again um so yes so this is my bisector what does this mean this means that this is angle x so this one is also angle x okay now what uh, we have to prove that triangle is isosceles okay let's see uh, bisects the opposite this is also given that this is d let's say so if that is d then we know that bd is equal to dc this is given so let's write given what is given ad is angle bisector of angle BAC correct this is given number one given two is BD is equal to DC BD is equal to DC so in other words AD is the median right AD is the median so the theorem could be given as if AD is a median as well as angle bisector of angle A then the triangle is isosceles okay so to prove to prove the triangle is isosceles meaning what you have to prove a b is equal to a c right let's see how to prove this so the moment there is a angle bisector what do we get a hint as so we get a hint as that internal angle bisector could be used over here isn't it so if if that is true that means in triangle a b c what can you say since AD is an angle bisector, internal angle bisector that is, hence we know that the ratio, it will divide the opposite side in the ratio of the adjacent side, isn't it? So AB upon AC is equal to BD upon DC, isn't it? This is given, but, but since BD is equal to DC, right? BD is equal to DC, so hence let me solve it here now. Therefore, AB by AC will become 1. Why? Because BD and DC are same. So, BD by DC will become 1, BD by DC is 1. So, AB by AC is 1, therefore, this will mean AB is equal to AC. And that's what we needed to prove. So it was very simple problem, correct? So again, the like learning is, if you see there is a bisector involved, uh, then, and we are talking about ratios of the sides of the triangle, then internal angle bisector comes handy to solve such problems.